my fit friends, welcome back to Wow Body Now and happy Independence Day. I'm not gonna keep you too long because I know you probably are looking forward and more focused on some fun barbecues, fireworks, and spending lots of time with family and friends. We are gonna do an abdominal focused workout today and it's not gonna be too long, so I want you to be focused while you're here with me. Focus on the abdominals, the obliques, your back muscles. We're gonna hit it all today so that your core can be really, really strong strong. So I have my kettlebell and I have a stability ball. We're going to start standing and we're going to do some core exercises with the kettlebell. And to kind of warm up, we're just going to make, take it around our body. We're going to circle our body with it. So I want you standing nice and tall and strong and you're just passing it around, keeping your core really engaged. Nice. Few more this direction, then we'll go the other direction. Ready? Other direction. Nice, stand up nice and tall. Pull that belly button in, squeeze that booty. Shoulders back. A few more. Nice. So to warm up our back, especially our lower back, we'll just do some uh, stiff leg deadlifts here. Knees are a little bit soft, but legs are mostly straight. Abs in, shoulders back. Keep your back flat. Keep those abs in. You're just going to go down and squeeze on the way up. So maybe you're not feeling very flexible and maybe your kettlebell isn't hitting the ground. That's okay. Just do what you can. We're just warming up the lower back here, which is definitely part of our core, an important part of our core. Nice. And then those abdominals, of course, are working to stabilize and to protect the back and spine. Nice. Give me four, three, two, and one. So I'm gonna turn my kettlebell to the side to get a little bit more warmed up and to get the heart pumping some. We're gonna do single arm kettlebell swings. We're gonna switch arms every time. So here we go. Switch midair. So remember, the kettlebell swing is more about the hip thrust than the arms. Keep, these, keep those abdominals in. You're gonna really feel it through the core, especially those abs there. And then your butt is part of your core, and that's what's really squeezing. So what's making your shoulder your arm raise? That strong hip thrust. Nice. Do you feel your heart rate coming up, getting warm? That entire core is working here with this move. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so we are gonna get going with some obliques. We're just gonna do a side bend. I have my kettlebell, kettlebell over here on the left side. I'm gonna take my other hand behind my head, elbow wide, abs in, tailbone tucked under. Here we go, down and up. We're doing 20, 19. 18, 17, knees are a little bit soft, right? 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Before we go to the other side, we're going to do some standing crunches. The kettlebell is being held up right by your nose, elbows in. You're going to give me a pelvic tilt and you're going to draw your shoulders forward, round your back, crunch, and return to neutral spine. Crunch. It looks kind of funny whenever you have that pelvic tilt. <laughs> it looks kind of funny, right? But that's okay. You're probably just in your living room by yourself anyway. Crunch. 
crunch. You are actively contracting those abdominals. Because you're squeezing your abdominals, that's helping to round your back and really draw your chest in towards the top of your pelvis bone there. Nice. Crunch it. And this added weight right here just makes it more intense. It doesn't look like much, but we can feel it, right? How about 10 more? 10, nine, eight. And the butt's working too, because we're squeezing it. Extra bonus booty work. Here, five, four, three, two, crunch it one. Bring it to the other side. Hand behind your head, elbow wide. Let's go for 20, 19, 18, 17, beautiful, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, come on, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Oh my goodness, two and one. Okay, we're gonna take it down to the mat. Keep this handy, we're not done with the kettlebell yet. Alrighty, so we're gonna do some good old fashioned Russian twists. Grab your weight there. We'll start with our feet anchored into the ground there. You're gonna twist and tap it one side and then the other. Beautiful, shoulders back. Nice. Now, if you need it easier, maybe you're sitting straight up like this. If you want it more challenging, lean back into it. If you want the next level, pick up your legs. There you go. We're going to do a few of these. Nice. Hang in there. Give me four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Lay all the way down. We're just gonna do some weighted crunches. I want you, whew, I think I crushed the mic. Okay, it's still okay. I want you to hold it close to your chest. All right, if the more you push it away from you, that helps you come up. We don't want it to help you come up. We want it to be harder. So keep it close to your chest. Keep your chin tucked slightly. Here we go, crunch up and down. Up, you're trying to get your entire shoulder blade off of the mat there, okay? Up and down. <sighs> Exhale on the way up. <sighs> you got it. Up and down. <sighs> You're doing great. Hang in there. Give me four, three, two. Hold it up there. Press it. Press it. How much of your shoulder blade can you hold off the mat? Let's go. Let's go. Give me 10, 9, 8. Get all that shoulder blade off the mat. You got it. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hold it. Come up a little bit more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Oh my goodness. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh my goodness. We're going to get that out of our way. Give me a little stretch there. Oh. All right, we've recently done the ball pass, but we're gonna do it again because I love it for the abdominals. So grab your stability ball. You're gonna have it between your legs. I love this one. So extend and pass it. We're gonna do 20 of them. 19, 18, 17, Oh, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, come on, 11, 10, you got it, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, almost there. Oh, three, my neck was tired. Huh. Come on. Two. Oh, I almost lost it. One. Nice work. All right, keep it up here in your arms. We're going to do a plank with our forearms in the ball. On the ball. There you go. Digging your forearms in, just hold it strong through your core there. Just hanging out, pull that belly button in, strong legs, strong arms. If you want it a little bit more challenging, you bring your legs closer together. That makes it harder to balance. Hold it, hold it, you got it. I'm gonna take my legs wide again, and we're going to tap one knee in, then the other knee. Stay strong, you can do this. Come on. Ooh, I feel my abs working like crazy with this one. <laughs> Give me 10. Nine, shoulders back away from your ears. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And one. All right, so now we're gonna do a plank with our legs on the ball. So a little trick here, the more of your higher up on your legs or closer to your hips is on the ball, the easier it's gonna be. So maybe you want it easiest, so you're gonna have your hips on the ball. Maybe you don't need it that easy, but you still are working on it and you're gonna have some of your thigh on the ball. Maybe you're ready for the next level and you're gonna have your shins resting on the ball. Maybe you're hardcore and you wanna go all the way to just basically the top of your feet on the ball. Just hold it. Oh my goodness gracious. Hanging out there with me. Just breathe. Make sure your shoulders are tracking right over your wrists. And now curl it in and out. Now, if you have your hips on the ball, it's, you're not gonna be really able to move it much. So you're just holding the plank there. Give me four, three, whew, two, oh my goodness, and one. Hold it, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Amazing. And we are done. I told you it was gonna be quick, right? So I want you to go enjoy the rest of your Independence Day. Thank you so much for joining me. Come right back here tomorrow. I have an awesome 10 minute cardio plus bonus shoulders workout for you for tomorrow. So I will see you until then. Always remember, no excuses, no regret. Just sweat everybody. Bye.